our hearts have been really heavy around here lately. We've, I mean, life happens for these cats, but I mean, we went from losing Avalanche to cancer to losing Remington right after to cancer, couldn't save him, to Manny being diagnosed with cancer. You know, we did surgery and that was a success, but only to give her another year of good quality life. Um, and then she's healing and Roman gets sick. And so it's just been one thing after another. And of course, that's what we're here to take care of these animals. But, you know, when every week it's somebody new and it feels like we're fighting for their life, it's just been a, a lot. Um, Roman, we're pretty sure, I mean, he's only eight years old, had an adverse um, reaction to a medication that we had him on. Um, he was taking some antibiotics for a possible abscess, and we were pretty sure that's what happened. And um, his his liver values just increased and pretty, pretty sufficiently stopped eating. Immediately we took him off that medication, but, you know, we got to get him back. So it's been a struggle. We did an emergency exam and didn't find anything too bad, um, but definitely that he's not feeling well and we have to get food in him. One of the worst things for a cat is to not eat, um, can cause other issues with the liver. So he's been at the hospital now since um, Saturday. So we're on our fourth day and uh, we were able to give him some steroids and he woke up you know, still coming out of anesthesia, but definitely was hungry. Um, Monday was a little um, rough, but we were able to get a little bit of food in him and also some steroids in him. And uh, today came in and he's like, roid rage, um, give me all the food you can. So thankfully today's a better day and it's going pretty positive. We, you know, have a been able to get a lot of different medications that Dr. Sweetly wanted to, to help um, from milk thistle to anti-nausea um, and then those steroids so we can get him back to feeling better so um, we're at it's 2.30 right now and he's had uh, 13 pounds of food already today of meat so we're pretty excited about that and hopefully by this weekend he'll be raring and ready to get back to his habitat and We'll sedate him again uh, before we move him from the hospital so we can check all of those levels um, and make sure that he's doing great. Happy to report Roman is better and we just brought him back up to his enclosure out of our vet hospital. Um, he did great, every day progressed. We did run his blood um, before we transported him up there and his uh, values are all coming back to the normal. So we got a positive. Oh, my God.